We beat Montenegro. Now we take on Norway. This one actually counts. Let's go. All right, my friends, things have been going well in the league. We won a bunch of games. Yada, yada, yada. Or maybe not as many. I mean, we've won games. We haven't lost yet. We're up to 24 league games in a row. I've, I've clicked on it. Nothing has happened. Come on, football manager. Football manager. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Hey, anybody? You want to? I guess we're locked in. We can't leave. Okay, finally. Did anything really change? Uh, we drew the Iron Brew Cup. If we beat York City, we take on Dundee. Um, come on, lads. Put it on the schedule. Come on. Um, we beat UCD 2-1. A bit nervy, but we got a penalty in the 91st minute. You always love. Daniel Thompson comes on like the 87th minute or something like that and immediately makes an impact. Go Like, falls down in the box, earns the penalty, sudden smashes it home. Um, so there you go. And then on the Orland side. That's not how it sounds at all. Uh, we beat Montenegro 4-0. Evan Quinn on a debut getting a goal. David Doyle getting a goal. Ross Appleby on a debut getting a goal. And Patrick Clavin coming in as a sub because I was trying to make sure he didn't get injured. Getting a 94th minute header goal. And they had a man sent off at the 47th minute for what looked like a ridiculous... It wasn't a red card. It looked like he barely, like, two feet came together and they called a red card. One of the feet was our guy. He, 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 did that make sense? I don't know. But we take on Norway today. They're 40-something in the world. We are going to roll out with Shaw. We're going to overlap the left with Dixon because now Shaw is our more defensive option here at the right back. Uh, Dixon, therefore, is not as defensive. Sweeney also cutting in from the side. Seddon, O'Neill, and Devlin with Cassidy up top who did nothing last game. Um, I rested Devlin, O'Neill, Sweeney... All those guys, I rested, uh, obviously, Sloven came in at, like, the 60th minute, something like that. Devine did not play. Shaw did not play. Gavin did not play. Um, and O'Neill is still a 91%. So that makes you attack. It always makes me nervous with him. Um, our subs, if we can get them in, would be Claire for striker, Quinn for right wing, Appleby for midfield. Oh, no. I've got too many. I've got too many, lads. Um, okay, so we got Hudson, who's a right back. <laughs> He's 17. I think he's the most important. He's got the three and a half star. Appleby, who's all right. If we had to, I mean, he got a goal, right? He got a cap at a goal. Surely he'd be willing to stay committed to us. Quinn is also 17 and highly rated. So the 17 year olds are going to get preference here. And then the 20 year old doesn't look half bad either. So that one's more of a toss up. Claire and uh, Appleby is a toss up. Hudson and Quinn, I think, have to get in. Hudson and Quinn have to get in come on boys and girls come on boys and girls pick up where you left off you just you just smoked a team i don't care that they were 85th in the world you still smoked a team we are slight favorites lads um we're playing positive last game played attacking but again 85th in the world versus 47th or 5th or something in the world that was quite the back pass there was a lot of pace on that at least it looked like it to me Got a tad nervous about that. And, of course, we're going to concede in the first five minutes. No. Over the ball. Over the ball, lads. They've got the first shot. Playing a 4-3-3 wide with a DN. Or 4-1-2-3 wide, which is much more difficult to say. Slavin bombs ahead to get that. Okay. Guys, could you... Could you... Don't. Red card. They double team him. Team him. Sweeney and uh, Seddon. Oh, that's poor, mate. That shuts down the breakaway. That's a disaster. Dixon comes over. Also can't complete a pass or a cross. Excellent. And now they're going to run right past Divine and score a goal. That was pathetic. Like, that whole thing was absurd. Can't complete any passes or crosses. He runs right past Divine. You can be freaking kidding me. Do we go attacking? I, forget it. We're going to go attacking. We've played poor. We've had four shots. We're not creating any chances. They got a half chance. Dixon collects it. Thank you for not immediately heading that. Props to him. You've earned our left back spot. Meredith, who scores every time he plays. Oh, it almost deflected in. We'll take it. We'll take that. Was you know, we would have taken it more if it had been a goal. I've moved my face a little bit. I'm I'm sure that's bothered somebody. But uh, in the experiment series that I've been doing, that was a cheeky back pass. Um, Right here is the total amount of transfer send, and it's always behind me. So I've moved myself to try and get out of the way. And instead, 
now that I've rattled on about that, they're going to go, ooh. I mean, you couldn't see. It was late to see it, so I kind of can't blame Gavin there. Did I shout? I went attacking, but I don't remember if I shouted. 30th minute, we're going to shout again. Let's just go ahead and get ready. Go ahead and get ready. Feel it. Feel it. Boom. Only Martin O'Neill cares. Cassie also not playing well. Excellent stuff, people. They're frustrated. At least we didn't frustrate anybody. <laughs> mm, this is good. This is this is ripping time. Show me something else. I feel like it's, it has nothing to do with the selections. The, the starting 11 we have it, is who I would have started anyway. So it's not... I don't think it's that. Meredith pings it low. What, what was that, mate? Sweeney. Oh, it's the... Oh, it's the bar. How are you going to let him get to that? Whoever that second runner was that was trying to get to that. And that was an... Oh, is that really an own goal? I was thinking keeper mistake. We're not even going to watch it. That, that doesn't deserve to be watched. Um, everyone's playing pretty garbage up top. And therefore... Oh, see, we don't... I can't afford to do this, people. Cassidy is not... Thank you for subscribing, whoever you are. No, no. Wait, we're going to bring Claire on. We're going to see if he made him make an impact. I know it's risky. He's two stars. That's probably not the right idea, is it? I hope he appreciates that we called him in. I would like to win the game. That is a thing. Um, Sweeney's not playing well. Evan played well last time, so we'll make the double subage, and then we'll wait on Seddon. We're, we're gonna we're gonna see how that kind of pans out. So we get one of our cap tying players in. Play it out left, mate. At left. You got the runner. There you go. Dixon, ping it in. Uh, ping it in better. Sudden, top of the box. O'Neal, smack it home, son. Don't you... It's just one of those... If, if, it feels like... <laughs> feels like one of them games where it's just going to be a bunch of BS, my friend. So we'll take Sudden off. And we'll bring on this guy. Let's make him a pressing forward, yeah? That looks to be his bag. He's not really an advance forward. He's more of a pressing. Let's go see if we can cause some havoc. Get the guy cutting inside here. Winger going up top. Overlap on the left. Get him, boys. We're down two goals. This is stupid. You know, like, everything about this is stupid. We're going to concede again. We're going to lose to the team that's like bottom of our t of our group. And we're not even going to get anything. We got 16 shots, four on target. It's, it's always how you want to start an episode when you're going to go play a Champions League side after it. That was poor. That was a poor performance. To go from 4-0 on Montenegro to this is not, not the best. Now, you could argue maybe we should have played like with a DM instead of attacking midfielder in the center because we're away from home, but, like, we should be better than them. And I believed in the squad I selected. They just didn't get it done. They gave up two goals to two half chances, one being a ridiculous own goal with a goalkeeper and a man on the line, and the ball sneaks in between them. But we cap-tied two players, so it's not lost. Don't like it. Don't like it. All right, let's go play Champions League. All right, hear me out. Daniel Thompson's got a tight calf or something like that. Marseille is sixth in their league and has only won one of their last five. So I'm not doing the DM. They play a 4-2-3-1. It says they're vulnerable to a 4-4-2. We're kind of doing a 4-3-3-ish, right? We got two deep-lying players here, right? DM or... Uh, holding midfielder and a deep line playmaker. We got the winger. His normal position will be back, but he can attack and he's 
we got the pace and the acceleration to get forward. Amir cutting in on the inside. We got our best penalty taker on the pitch. We got Cass on the bench to come in for McElroy. Maloney and Divine. I'm tempted to play Erich, but Maloney technically is better. I, I, I'd like to do attacking, but they are still in league. Oh, so maybe I, I kind of want to give our give our fans a game, you know, like get them a win, take home 2.7 million. And, you know, it, it, it it's like when else are we going to take our chances? Right. You're at home against a team that's won one of their last five games. Um, granted, not in your league, way out of your league, but still, still, like, you'd think we could get some sort of a shot here. Fresno, cut inside, just bang that home. Oh, he shoots it wide. That's kind of what we see a lot of times on the flying V. Somebody cuts inside there. Chips it in, chips it in. It falls in for Caffel Devlin, or Devlin. I don't, you guys told me how to say it a long time ago. I can't remember. I've been calling him Devlin, and that's why. Fresno with the assist. My goodness, we've got a goal. Let's watch. Let's enjoy every goal we can against this team. Uh, yeah, it's a dinker. It's dink or a doinker. A dinker or a doinker. You decide. Burdett on a yellow. Please, mate. Don't get sent off. Nobody gets sent off. But this is what I'm saying. Like, if we if we wait till they they rush forward on us, we've dropped our line back a little bit. Can we take advantage? Paul Frame has just net our second goal in the 12th minute of the game. It's his 25th goal of the season. I think the 15 grand a week is worth it. We're, we're going to watch that one too. That's his second assist, by the way, Fresno. I mean, is it really an assist when it comes off of the defender? But whatever, it got to him, I guess. I guess they're determining he intentionally passed it that way, but I think that's being a tad generous. Another highlight, McClellan. Fall down frame. Oh, he flicks it on. I was hard with the angle. I couldn't tell where that was going. Apparently it went either off the top bar or off the netting or whatever. Burdett, I'm looking at you, mate. Oh, no. Tight calf. He's coming back. He's coming. Oh, look at that. He's fine. Everything's fine. We'll t we can take him off at halftime if we need to, but things are going well right now. We got two goals, boys. Fresno. Providing a little bit more support to Burdett. Somebody's got a two-footed lunge. That's what that looked like. That little the little shimmy they do. That's like the two-footed lunge shimmy. That was almost a great goal right there. Everybody loves the two-footed lunge shimmy. A tight calf. McElroy. What happened to Amir? He's got a tight calf. Can we get some, uh, you know, Gatorade to these guys? They're cramping up on me. This is crazy. We don't have anybody else that can play left wing. McElroy is going for a jaunt. He just went all the way around. What was that? Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. <laughs> oh, get in there. Oh, not like that. I wasn't talking to you. Why? If we could have gotten into halftime with a 2 0 lead, that'd been unbelievable. Gets his mitt to it, and it still goes in. Somebody dive in the box. Somebody dive in the box. What was that? What a weird pass. I know you got two assists. I can't really, like, judge you, but still. Out wide. You got out wide. Oh, he hits the bar. That was actually a good chance. Seven shots for both sides. Three on target for both sides. Don't get complacent. Oh, what do we do there? What do we do there? Mate, I need you to get your head right. Mate, I freaking love you. I believe in you. I know I said at the beginning of the episode... I don't like to play players when they got an injury. But, like, this is the Champions League, and you're injured in the game. Amir looks like he's having a rough time, though. But we don't really have anybody that can play left wing. He should be, we should be able to nurse the rest of the match. Oh, skims the bar. Skims the bar, lads. 
That old Irish tune. I skim the bar. McClellan knocks it forward. McElroy comes to collect. We got runners. It's We're on a break, lads. They're not in defensive shape. Fresnel, do something. Cuts in. Oh, that was great until the shot. He had all he, he straight at him, but just high. So could have done better. Could have done better. But we'll, we'll take the run. Amir, you might take the guy. I, I'm talking to myself here. That's got the tight calf off of corner duty. <laughs> McClellan heads away. The camera does a weird thing. Does it mean that would have been a highlight that stopped, but instead it continues? I don't know. Dempsey. Doink. To nobody. Like, what was that, mate? I know we're distributing quickly, but it doesn't mean just pass it back to them and give them the ball back. Oh, burn, man. Burn's been burned twice. I think that's a demand more situation, right? Like, we defensively messed that up, and then, okay, Amir, it's setting, I might be able to nurse him through the rest of the match. I'm tempted to put Cass on, play McElroy out there, maybe. I think we're going to have to do that, because McElroy can play left wing or inside forward. Yep, yep. Even though it didn't say that about McElroy. It didn't say anything about nursing him through the match. But we're going to go like that. We're going to bring on our highest goal scorer of the season. Our wonder kid. In search of a goal, my friends. Burn is having a like, woof kind of day. Burdett is looking apprehensive. We're going to bring on Conway. You know why? Because Conway doesn't look apprehensive. I'm just trying to like put out fires here. Okay, he can get through the rest of the match. Do we? I think we bring on Erich or burn. Do we take Burn off? I think we bring on some Frank Erich to calm the back line down. He can start yelling at people. That's what he does. Because that's what leaders do. They yell at people. Last chance. Last kick of the game, Conway! Cass can't get to it. Chase it down, Cass. Six seconds. Five, three, pass something forward, boys. I mean, considering we scored two goals the first 12 minutes, that's a disappointing result. I'm going to say I'm happy because we didn't lose. But it probably doesn't do anything for us in the long run. Two to three days, one to two days. We're getting another 900 grand. But really, okay, they've not played yet, but we've only got two points. That doesn't really matter. You know? Like, we're hoping Wolf Story loses. Um, let me hop us forward to see what happens. And of course, Wolf Story has beaten Athletic Madrid. <sighs> it really is unfortunate. We had a two-goal lead and choked it away. One of these games, we created more chances, if you like. We had the sending off. That's how it goes, my friends. Next episode, uh, let's see, that's the second the 24th. Hold on a second. We might do some more magic here with the national team. Probably the 11th. That's an important, important match. So we'll do Marseille and Croatia. That'll be the next episode. And then the last episode will be, not the last episode, but of the season, will be Atletico Madrid and Wolfsburg. I mean, the the upside is that we played kind of a, our normal formation, but just played cautious. But people playing on attack and it still worked. And we scored two goals. The bad news is, I mean, we've got two points. We've just not been able to jump that. I mean, we're the only fourth place team with two points. Third place teams get a one, a three, a two, a three, a four, a two, and a one. So one win I mean, going to five points would be massive, but you got to get there. So, right. All right, my friends, if you would like to hit the like button, 
see you next time. I'm I'm gutted to be I completely honest with you. I'm gutted. We lost to Norway. We draw with Marseille in this episode. That's not how this is supposed to go, especially with a two 0 lead. See you next time. Thank you.